First of all, thanks to Allah SWT for His mercy and guidance in giving us full strength to complete this group assignment. This completion of this group assignment could not have been possible without the participants and assistance from lecturers and also each and every one of us in this group. Even facing some difficulties in completing this task, we still managed to complete it. Besides that, a uh, big thanks to our lecturer, Dr. Nasri, because without his guide, our project cannot, done, cannot be done properly like this. He always gave us support and gave us how to do our assignment in order to produce a good outcome from research that have been studied. So, the topic that have been chosen by our group are property sector. Last but not least, we would like to thank to all of those who helped us throughout the process of this group assignment. Thank you. The first company that we choose are IOI Property Group Berhad, IOIPG. IOIPG is one of the Malaysian leading public listed property developers. This company also is re-owned as one of the largest property companies in the country with a proven track record spanning nearly four decades in the property development industry. IOIPG also successfully developed sustainable township in South of the region. The second company that we choose are MCT Berhad. MCT Berhad is a Malaysian firm that specializes in investment holding. This company was established in 1999 as moderator construction technology center Berhad. MCT Berhad became a subsidiary of Ireland in February 2018. Sing Group Berhad was founded in 1992 and listed on Bursa Malaysia in 1992. In 1994, Masin entered the property development business. Their effort to build high-quality houses in response to market demand were rewarded with a slew of Reno Local and Worldwide Industry Award. Masin is a Malaysian developer that specializes in residential, commercial, retail, hospitality, and industrial projects. Numerous projects to aid the impoverished communities living inside and around the township nationwide. It is the only Malaysia property developer to be rated by the Carbon Disclosure Project for carbon management and stakeholder involvement. There are a well-established property business with multiple international and local owners. Echo World Development Group Berhad operates as an investment holding company. The group engaged in property investment and development through the wholly owned subsidiary Focal M. Sundan Berhad under the Kota Masai, a core property development project. The company was incorporated in 1974 and is based in Kuala Lumpur. Echo World Development Group Berhad has, in a relatively short period of time, become a very respected and sought after developer and brand name. They have undertaken a total of 20 projects with a cross development value GDV exceeding 87 ringgit billion covering new townships, integrated commercial developments, luxury high-rise apartment complex and the last one is green business parks. UEM Sunrise Perhad is a property development company wholly owned by Khazana, an investment fund of the Government of Malaysia. The company focuses on macro township de development, high rise residential, commercial, retail and integrated developments and property management and project and construction services. The company operates in three main business segments which is property development, property investment and others. In 2018 was the company's 50 years anniversary. Their projects, including some of the most sought after properties in affluent areas such as Mount Kiara and Solaris de Tamas in Kuala Lumpur, Bukit Jerutun in Shah Alam, as well as Cyberjaya. In 2018, the company launched five new projects with a total GDV of 907 ringgit million. The company has successfully expanded operations overseas to Canada, Australia and South Africa. The first company that I choose is Damansara Holding Berhad. 
BDHD for short. DBHD is an investment holding company that was established in 1960 and was listed in the main board of Bursa Malaysia in 1973. DBHD international presence spread across countries including Singapore and the Philippines and are involved in three major business segments which is property and land development, integrated facilities management and project management and consultancy service. The second company that I choose is Iskandar Waterfront City Berhad, IWCT for short. IWCT is an investment holding company and was incorporated on 31st December 1968. IWCT has seven wholly owned subsidiaries and two associates within the group and mainly focus on landed township development products. Next is principal activity of company. First is IOIPG. IOIPG is an investment holding company in the property development sector. IOIPG is based in Malaysia and has a business portfolio that encompasses leisure and hospitality in addition to property development and property investment. The property development segment generates most of the company revenue. Next is MCT Berhad. MCT Berhad is engaged in investment holding. This company segment includes property development, construction activity, and others. The property development segment is engaged in property development of residential and commercial properties. One of the country's leading property developers and a major maker of high-quality recyclable plastic items, residential, commercial, retail, hospitality and industrial developments are among the company's diverse property portfolios. Most of the diverse property located in the property hotspot of Greater Kuala Lumpur, Klang Valley, Penang, Johor and Sabah. Takes price in being a premier developer of sustainability communities, a trick record of building landed strata properties in the area of residential, offices, retail and industrial developments. Taman Melawati, Subanjaya, UEP Subanjaya and Bukit Jilutong as well as new world ongoing townships. The group's property portfolio is diverse, encompassing residential freehold units ranging from affordable to high-end, landed and high-rise flat. Echo World Development Group Perhat is a Malaysian property development company. The company has de development projects including new township, integrated commercial developments, luxury high-rise apartments and green business park. The company's projects are spread across three economic areas of Malaysia, which is Klang Valley, Iskandar Malaysia and Penang. Some of the company's key projects are Echo Crantier, Echo Ardens, Echo Business Park and Echo Plum. The company's business can be divided into revenue generating areas to include the sale of completed properties and other goods, the sale of properties under development and construction contracts, and the company derive a majority of its revenue from the sales of properties. Three main statements for UAM Sunrise, Sunrise Berhad including property development, property investment and others. The property development segment is engaged in the development and sales of residential and commercial properties. The property investment segment is engaged in the, de in the development of investment properties and hold to earn rental income and or capital appreciation. The other segment is engaged in investment holding, assets and facilities management, project management, harvesting, land leasing, other income and other common companies. Principal activity in DBHD is to provide dynamic integrated facilities management solution by adhering to the highest international standards. DBHD are committed to what they do and are passionate about creating a better future that benefits society as a whole. Finally, the ability to serve its clients' requirements with integrity towards developing a long-term relationship business relationship. Next, IWCT utilizes the competitive edge of talented professionals to ensure every advantage in the aggressive commercial marketplace. IWCT establishes safe and friendly communities 
for our homeowners to live and grow up in and finally supplying complete construction package that are tailored to the specification of each project employing the most up-to-date methods and technology. Based on the graph of IORPG, it shown a consistent pattern of share price data within January to October 2021. Their two month higher share price data are in February and April, and the lowest are in July. Um, from my research, IORPG might not be the most widely known stock at the moment. Uh, it's recorded a decent share price growth in the 10th level of the KLSE over the last few months. Based on the graph of NCT Berhad, it shows fluctuating share price data within January 2021 to October 2021. The highest share price data are in April and the lowest are in January. Uh, for my research, NCT Berhad report a solid second quarter result with reduced losses, improved revenue and improved control over expenses over the last three years on average. The company share price growth rate has exceeded it earning growth rate by 63% point per year, which is significant different in performance. It shows fluctuating share price data within that January 2021 to October 2021. The highest share price is RM1 ringgit 30 cent on week 26 uh, April 2021. Masing group Bahab issuance of Sikor and Arated Islamic medium terms note had made the lowest share price in week 4 and January 2021 and 27 September 2021. It shows fluctuating share price data within January 2021 to October 2021. A proposed renewal of shareholders' mandates for existing recurrent related party transactions for a revenue or trading nature made the highest price happen. The lowest share price is RM2.11 in week 9 August 2021. Based on the graph of Echo World Development Group Berhad, it showed a fluctuated share price weekly from January to February. Then, from March until October, the graph showed increasing rapidly for the weekly share price. The highest share price is RM 1.02 on week 25 October 2021, while the lowest share price is at RM 0.42 on week for January 2021. As we can see, the share price grew rapidly throughout the period and this will attract the investor. Increasing share price indicate that investors are expecting high earnings growth from the company in the future. As the company invests in itself, its potential value for greater earnings increase. However, the limited supply of shares means that investors will have to bid higher and higher to obtain shares. In addition, the price of the share will only continue to increase or remain high so long as the company makes the earnings expected by investors. We can conclude that Echo World Development Group perhaps has the ability to earn and grow more profits in the future. Based on the graph of UAM Sunrise Perhat, it showed a fluctuated share price weekly from January until October. From the chart, the highest share price is RM0.49 on week 8 March 2021, while the lowest share price is at RM0.35 on week 9 August 2021. As we can see that the share price rise and falls steadily throughout the period. So, we can conclude that the performance of UEM Sunrise Perhad in a stable state since the share price has not fallen much from month to month. DBHD share price from January to March shows a stable and slight increase in share, share price from 0 0.3 ringgit to 0 0.43 ringgit. The share price went a slight downhill starting from April to July due to COVID restraint movement and then share price went up after the restricted movement was lifted which is from August to October. 
and reached the highest share price of 50 cent in the month of October. Next, IWCT share price from January to March shows a stable and slight increase and decrease in share price from the range of 45 cent to 51 cent. It achieved the highest share price of 51 cent in March which they reported to have a huge improvement in the return on investment and revenue. The month of April to August showed a decline in the share price and achieved the lowest share price of 35 cent. Based on the graph above, a stock that's been more than the market over time has a beta above 1. If a stock moves less than the market, the stock beta is less than 1 and less risky which are in March, April, May and October. Um, the highest beta is in September in which high beta stock are supposed to be riskier but provide higher return potential. Based on the graph above, beta in March, April, August and September are below than 1. This means the MCT per heart return is less risky than the market return. The highest beta recorded is during May. Since the beta shown above are all below than 1, this means that massing return on security is less risky or less volatile than the return of KLSE. The negative beta occur in September, July, March and February indicates that the return of massing move the opposite direction from the market index. For example, in February where the beta is at negative 0.0019, this is when the return of massing reached at 0.0064 while KLSE recorded a return of negative 0.0045 the same days. Betas shown in August, March, May and January are greater than 1. The highest beta recorded is during March at 2.3541. The negative beta occurred in September indicates that the return of some derby property moved the opposite direction from the market index. The betas shown above in January, March, April, August and October are greater than 1 means that Echo World Development Group perhaps return on security is more risky or more volatile than the return of KLSE. A greater risk is mean by a higher return. The highest beta recorded is during April at 7.8668. Meanwhile, betas in February, May, June, July and September show they are lower than 1 which means they tend to be less volatile than the market in those months. The lowest beta occur in September at negative 5.7110, which means low beta stock pose less, ri less risk but also less return. The betas shown above in January, March, April, September and October are greater than 1. This means that UEM Sunrise perhaps return on security is more risky or more volatile than the return of KLSE. A greater risk is mean by a higher return. The highest data recorded is during September at 4.0038. Meanwhile, betas in February, May, June, July and August show they are lower than 1 which means they tend to be less volatile than the market in those months. The negative betas occur in July at negative, point, negative 0 0.2689 that indicates the returns of UEM Sunrise Berhad move the, move the opposite direction from the market index. This means that UEM Sunrise Berhad's return rises when the market index falls and drops when the latter rises. DBHD beta from the month of January to March had an increase from negative 2.38 to 2.60, which means that the company market price is more volatile than the market, then had a decline in the month of April to negative 0.62. This means that the stock is inversely correlated to the market benchmark. 
September shows the lowest beta of negative 15.66. This shows that the stock is inversely correlated to the market benchmark and pose a very low risk to the investor, which also gives a low return on investment. IWCT beta chart shows an irregular pattern from January to October. The month January, February and September shows a beta more than one, which means that the market that the company market price is more volatile than the market. The month of February, April, May, June and August have a beta of more than zero and less than one. Investors can consider buying the stocks in July and October for a possible future market downturn due to the negative beta which means low risk but also low return. The graph show an increasing in January to February and decline slowly in March till May and climb up in June and fall back in July and remain constant till October. The graph show fluctuate in standard deviation for MCT per high. The standard deviation reach a peak in March and bottom up in July at 0.0257. The table and graph show standard deviation in massing group Berhad. The table and graph show standard deviation in Sam Darby property Berhad. The graph shows that the highest standard deviation in Iskandar Waterfall City Berhad is 0.0429 in March. Based on the graph above, IOIPG covariance are in a rising pattern data. The highest data of covariance in August at 0.01% which mean a high covariance basically indicate there is a strong relationship between the variable. Based on the graph above, MCT Berhad covariance are also in a rising pattern data, which means if the covariance give a positive number, the variable are positively related. The highest data of covariance are in October at 0.07% and the lowest are in February. Table and graph shown covariance in massing group Berhad. The table and graph shown covariance in Sam Darby property Berhad. DBHD shows an irregular flow of covariance from January to October starting from negative 0.02% increasing to 0.03% and back down to 0 and then back up to 0.04% and the pattern repeats until October with a negative 0.01%. It shows a lot of high number of covariance in March, June and August. This means the variable during that time are posit positively related. IWCT shows a fluctuation of covariance from January to October. Achieved the, achieved the highest covariance in August of 0.03%, which means that the mean value of two variable stock have the same relationship. Government policy can have a significant impact on property prices and demand. Government intervention in the form of tax credit, deduction and subsidy could temporarily enhance real estate demand. Economic impact can be seen in the industry through the increasing business sales revenue, profit and gross domestic product. The money initially spent in the business such as salaries, supplies, raw materials and operating expenses are what keeps a company's going for going. For example, 
When a company generates a low revenue, it will result in low salaries paid to employees and then the employee can't afford to buy the company, the company product due to low income. Social impact companies are also usually committed to making sure that their supply chains are as sustainable as their works. While sustainability often refers to environmental sustainability, social and economic sustainability are also important. The commitment to sustainability means that social impact companies do their best to use suppliers and vendors that are conscious of their impact on the environment, pay workers a living wage, and do not support harmful social policies. In 2021, challenges that once felt hyper-local are being discussed on national and global levels. Issues like financial literacy in, under, in undeserved populations, access to clean water, education for women and girls, and environmental conversation are just a few of the problems that social impact companies are attempting to tackle. The increase in social impact organization means that the people working to solve these challenges have more resources than ever before. Environment impact. Firstly, is air and water quality. Areas with clean air and water are particularly appealing and their population and value may grow quicker in the future than the national average. Net soil conditions. The property soil classification is important since it can have a big impact on the cost, feasibility of future use and development. Net wheat land. They are vital to local ecology because they protect and improve water quality keep surface water flowing during dry seasons and provide home for fish and wildlife. As a conclusion, industry risk must always be considered even in a well-performed company in order to not have any unnecessary loss. These impacts can be seen through the increase in profitability, sales, cash flow, growth and stock price of companies within each industry group.